Hey guys, John here today for the video everyone was anticipating. We have the battle of the countries. As you see, we have our teams lined up. We got Team Germany with the Audi R8, Mercedes AMG, BMW M4, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. We also have Team France with Bugatti Veyron and the Renault Supersport, and the Nissan GTR and Act the Honda NSX, if you want to call it, for Team Germany. Or not Germany, Japan. Now we have Team Britain with the Aston Martin 177 McLaren Q1 Jaguar F Type and the Lotus E4 GT. For Team Italy, we have the Alfa Romeo 8C, the Bacone Wire Roadster, the Lamborghini Huracan, and the Ferrari 458 Italia. And last but not least, for the most chosen team, we have the Camaro, Chevy Camaro, we have the Dodge Viper, Ford GT, and the Camaro Z07. Z we got a Corvette. Here we go. As you can see, we have the cars lined up. Each team's gonna face each other four times. And then we have our bonus round with Team France and Team Japan. Let's see the track. So I'm very, very torn on what type of track I wanted. This is the third time I'm filming a track like show off, but I finally found what track I wanted. We have a single two lane down to the end, which will change as the tournament goes on. But we have four cars on a two lane. Now you might be asking, how does that work? Well, there's going to be two winners. First place is going to move on and third place. So the cars in the back have to trust that the cars in the front are fast enough to get them past their opponent. Let's see how this works. So we have the Audi versus the 177 and the Alpha versus the Camaro. Three, two. There we go, there's the finish. I'll have to go back to replay to see who got third, but the Audi takes That was an extremely clo cl close race. As you can see, the Alfa Romeo actually got second in front of the Aston Martin, but like I said, first and third will move on, which means the Audi and the 177 will move on to the next round. Next up for the teams, we have Germany with the Mercedes, Britain with the McLaren, Italy with the Bugatti, and USA with the Viper. Here we go, we're gonna have Team Britain and Team USA coming on Team Germany and Team Italy to bring them to the next round. Or it's something that can happen like last race, you'll never know. Here we go, three, two. Look at that, Team Italy and the Viper just flying by, but third place. Both the front row cars get in again. Sorry if these rules are confusing. I had to come up with this on the spot because I still had no idea what track I wanted to do. And this is what I decided. Just wait until the next round where we're gonna add jumps. Anyway, next round we have our round three of the main country battles. And like I said, it's confusing. Third and first place are gonna be moving on. Other than that, these cars have to pray that the car in front of them is fast. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's going to be the Huracan and the Ford GT taking first and third. All these crazy rules, but I finally understand the rules of my own tournament. So it's whatever tandem takes the first place, then that tandem is moving on. And the tandems are going to switch. So stay tuned for that. We got two more races left. And the last one's Japan versus France. Germany, Britain, Italy, and USA battling for that last spot with the main country. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's gonna be the tandem with the Porsche and Italy going on to the next round. Just like that, Britain is out of the game. So with two American cars and two German cars, but all four Italy cars are in the race. Now we've got our final matchup. We've got Team France versus Team Japan. How will this turn out? Here we go. What tandem will win? Will the Bugatti move on to Team France? Or will the Renault? We'll have to see. Three, two. It's gonna be the Honda NSX, or Acura NSX, moving on with the Renault. Bugatti's knocked out. So we have our finalists, and we also have a change in track. These countries are gonna have to battle on every single track type, well, that I can think of anyway, which is not that many. So, we're taking out the two lane, going back onto the street track, 
with a makeshift ramp all the way down to the end. This will be best two out of three, just like the team three race tournament. And this time will be two v two, and then three v three. The top two cars are gonna make it in. Let's see who'll take it. Got our first matchup. The third race will decide it. Three, two. Taking the win. Here we go. Race two. Three, two. It's the Audi taking it out of the corner of my eye. Here we go. Race three. Three, two, one. And it's gonna be the Alpha with a sick trick and taking the win. We got our two finalists in that round, the Alpha Romeo and the Audi R8. Now we've got our most ultimate of races, the 3v3. Here's our 3v3 matchup. Who's gonna take it? Three, two. What a wreck! Everyone crashes. It's gonna be the Huracan. Then the Acura, then the Renault, then the Porsche, Ferrari, Ford. Here we go, race two. That race was crazy. Three, two, one. And it's gonna be the Renault taking the win. This is it. This decides who's gonna go on to the finals. Three, two, one. Is it gonna be the Renault? I think it is. I'll have to go back to replay for second place though. We've gotten the crazy races out of the way. We got two Team Italy cars, one Team Germany car, and one Team France car. Now the races are gonna tone down a little bit, trying to get every tournament I know into here. So our next track is the du du dual lane into the curve, to the finish line. One race, or we'll switch lanes after these races, and then the last race, it's gonna be insane. We've got Team Italy facing off first. Three, two. It's gonna be the Alpha. Switch lanes. Three, two, one. It's gonna be the Huracan. We're gonna have to switch lanes one more time and flip my coin. coin. I obviously need a Hot Wheels connector. If the connector lands upward, these two cars will switch lanes. It's upward, we're gonna have to switch lanes. Whoever wins this race will move on to the actual final. Here we go, three, two, one. It's gonna be the Alpha, the Huracan gets loose. We're gonna face the Alpha in the finals, but it'll be the Audi, and it'll be the Renault for Team France. Here we go. Three, two, one. What? The Audi didn't finish. He gets loose, and the Renault. Sneakily takes the win. No, he's got the inside lane this time. Three, two, three. Look at that! The Audi spins out, tries to take out the Renault, but the Renault is moving on to the final round. We've got one race to decide it all. We're gonna merge. We know this Audi's fast, but the Renault is very clutch. We'll take it. Three, two, one. It's gonna be the Audi taking the win for Team Germany. Shout out to Jim Johansson and Hot Wheels Tournaments for guessing Germany right in this battle. I'm super sorry for any of you who are mad because the rules were very inconsistent. Throughout the race, I um, I apologize completely. If you guys want to say a rematch with all of these cars, make sure to comment down below. You guys want a rematch and on what track, and we'll keep it consistent. 
You guys could also keep your team if you want a rematch. I'll probably do a rematch anyway now that I know that these rules are so messed up. Comment down what team you want for next time and what track you want, and I'll race them again. So I'll see you racers later. Peace!